Don't bite me. Please, don't bite me. Alfonso, don't bite me, don't bite me, don't bite me. Okay, guys, this is Alfonso. Check out his Instagram. Um, Please don't bite me. Don't bite my titties. Okay, bye. Watch this snow tick. Yeah, yeah I'm the nigga game rap. X Miss Mo. Shots I deliver. Fade it. Vegas. My plans are the killer. Shake it. Break it. Hot for the winner. Drop it. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Okay. <laughs> So today's video is about me and uh, if you're new to my channel, subscribe and uh, if you uh, already subscribed, thank you. Thank you for all the new subscribers and yes, I have a broken nail. So don't mind that. I will get it fixed. But um, I thought I would record this video because one of the reasons I actually started my channel was to share my breast reduction video and stuff like my experiences and it's actually been a year since I've had my breast reduction a year and like a few months because I had it last year July July 10th 2016 is when I had my surgery my breast reduction surgery of course I thought I'd do like a little update video I thought I'd uh, wear something boob friendly I hope my nipple does not slip out okay Check out my social medias or, you know, wait till the end of the day, the video for that. But yeah, uh, thank you to all the people who subscribed. I appreciate it. You know, my goal for 2018 is to get to 50K. So please subscribe or even 100K would be nice. I have a dream. I got a dream. One day. If you're new, my name is Hallie. Welcome to my channel. I am trapped in the depths of Alberta. And that's all you need to know. Yeah. Moving on, if you hear weird noises, it's Alfonso, my bunny, he is right there eating hay, so don't mind it. So I got my surgery in, what was it? Yeah, July 8th, no, July 10th, 2016, at the Misericordia Hospital, that's like in Edmonton, by the West, West End, which is one of the biggest malls in North America, if you want to come down to Edmonton. Do it up. Like I've wanted my breast reduction surgery since I was, I would say, 14. I'd wanted it since I was 14. Um, this is. A, I'll insert a picture of me. <coughs> I'll insert a picture of me when I was 14, right here. Me awkwardly, uh, awkward. So yeah, this was me at 14, and I've wanted my surgery since then. That's when I found out about it. We tried to go, and they were like, "You're too young. You're not done growing." So I had to come back. I came back when I was like 16, and they were like, no, you're still too young. And I was like, ugh. So I waited until I was 18. Yeah, so I waited until I was 18. And then I went to the doctor again, and then he's like, fine. Are you sure you want to do this? What about children? And I'm like, children, what you talking about, doctor? I'm not going to wait to, to have children to be happy. You are crazy. Okay, no. I was like, book the surgery, bro. He booked the surgery. It took a while, actually. Like, I think it took, it took like two to three years for the process, because in Canada it's free if you have back issues. Because, like, I'm like four foot nine and I had like double E's. It was uh, hard. It was a hard life. He uh, called the surgeon and then, like, you know, I was 18, so 19. And then I turned 20. And then 21. I was 20. I went to see uh, the surgeon. I got a call from the surgeon, and they're like, "Yeah, you are a good candidate for it. So we will book you." Blah blah blah. And uh, it happened. She's like, "Yeah, we'll call you when you're book your surgery days." So I waited a whole year, <laughs> and then they finally called me, and I was so happy. I was like, "Yes, <laughs> no more struggles." Cause I'm sorry, but I don't like boobies, big boobies, like it's not my thing, I'm not a fan, and um, I don't like people staring at me, so uh, don't stare at me, okay? Especially when you're staring at me, you're like staring at my chest, that's just f***ing ridiculous. And I've been experiencing that since um, like uh, 13, 14, that's uh, from creepiness, you know, the creepiness was too much, and uh, from old men, okay, like old men. Like I remember I was a 15 and then this guy came on the train and he was like, and he's like, 
how old are you? And I'm like, 15. He's like, there's no way you're 15. There's no way. And I'm like, dog, leave me alone, okay? He was uh, cute though. But that's not the point. You're still a weirdo, leave me alone. So I, I didn't like the attention, first of all, so I was like, Ugh, everybody, leave me alone. And I, in high school, or junior high, they were like, everybody would call me like, oh, or refer, everybody would refer me to as the girl with that big boobs. <coughs> and I was not a fan, okay? Like, why would you call someone a body part? The girl with the big boobs. Like, that's so disgusting. I hated it. I hated when people, like, would say that. I'm like, I'm 14. Like, why are you saying that? You know? It was disgusting. So I was like, you know, I'm getting rid of these. I don't want them. My back hurts. Screw it. We're done. And I couldn't even find a bra. Like, I was struggling to find a bra until, like, all of junior high, I struggled to find a bra until I got to high school when I started working and then I started ordering bras online. Yeah, so I started ordering bras online like this. This bra right here. And then this is the back. I ordered like these. Like I ordered them like every three months I would order one. And uh, yeah, this is the size that I was. I don't know if you could see. I don't know, let me see where the tag is. It says, 32E. Yeah, so I was a 32E from the age of 13 till 20, 21, one of those. And it was terrible. If you like big boobs, I mean, if you have big boobs and you actually like your big boobs, uh, I recommend this bra company. It's called La Isla. I'll leave a link for it down below and I hope. <clears throat> you know, you uh, enjoy your big boobs, because I did not enjoy mine. So yeah, that was my little story. So I finally got the call, and then we, I was so excited. I got the call in like, like two months before the surgery, and I got the call two months before the surgery, and then I went in. So I just had to wait two months, and then I put in my work notice, you know, I was like, Peace out, okay. Yeah, I went to surgery. Everything got done. It was great. Everything was fantastic. And now I'm sitting here a year later feeling great. I mean, 2017 was a terrible year. 2016 was a okay year with smaller rooms. Both of those years were way better. I didn't have to worry about, oh my god, that sweater is not gonna fit me. It's gonna look weird. Uh, uh, if I wear a boob revealing shirt, people are gonna stare at me like, whoa, Let's do who it. is that? And uh, I still haven't went in to get measured because, you know, yeah, so I haven't gotten measured or anything. Uh, my friend actually gave me this. She gave me this, so I didn't actually go to the store and buy it, so I didn't. I don't know. I think this is like a size medium or something, so I don't know. I've been wearing sports bras and like dingy, dingy bras, like these bralettes. Yeah. That's what I call them. This one is a bit older worn, so yeah. I've been wearing this and like stuff like this. And I ordered these online, so in a size small, medium, you know. And if I uh, plan on going to get measured in the summer, because right now I'm like working out. I'm doing yoga, Pilates, Zumba, and at-home workouts which a video of that is coming soon, so stay tuned, subscribe. But yeah, if you're thinking of getting a breast reduction and you have, you are like small and you have like, boom, uh, go talk to your doctor and if he's like, oh, you should wait for your husband. Oh no, you should wait for your kids until you have kids or something like that. Uh, go to a new doctor, okay, because, oh, because that's f or what you could do is tell him that it's your body and that you are in pain, okay? So I can't imagine being pregnant and then kind of having those big boobs, like, oh, uh, you're, I'm still the struggle would have been real, so. So tell your doctor now. I still have my scars. They did the anchor scar, and I already showed you guys my scars before in another video. I haven't been really doing anything to them. I, yeah, 
was gonna get bio oil, but then I was like, uh, maybe. I think I will get it and start rubbing it off because I've been using coconut oil, and that's it. And I use that all over my body, so yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I hope it's not too long. And if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. My nail is very ratchet. I'm sorry. Okay. If you want to know where um, I got my hair, I will leave a link down below of it. And uh, you can just order it. It's no affiliate or anything. So, yeah. But yeah, thank you to everybody who subscribed and uh, all you new subscribers. You guys are OG goats, okay? I love you guys and uh, you are awesome. And I will be uploading more. I don't know why I say that in every video. <laughs> uh, stay tuned for my next video and I will see you guys back on this channel. Make sure you uh, give it a thumbs up and turn on your bell notifications. I guess if you're like a YouTuber, the whole demonetization thing for small YouTubers, eh, I don't really care, you know, like it's not a big deal for me. That means, that makes me just want to work harder, so I will probably be making more videos. And for the people, for the people who are like, oh my god, I am leaving YouTube because we got demonetized, then you know, I, I, I feel terrible for you, but that's less competition for me, so I'm not mad, okay? But I wish you would stay, because it just means you just gotta work harder, and then once you get to that 4,000 hours and 1,000 subscribers, it will feel amazing. So, guys, small YouTubers, don't leave, okay? Don't quit, okay? Because you could be the next Tana Mojo, you could be the next Jake Paul, Kimstar, you need to shut the f up, okay? Keemstar, you are stupid. I was like, who is this nigga talking about? Talking about, if you're a small YouTuber, you should just quit. I was like, bruh, all you have is drama. But yeah, check out all my social media. It will be right here somewhere. <laughs> um, I'm mostly active on Snapchat and Instagram and Twitter. You want to follow me on those? I follow people back on Twitter because I don't care about Twitter like followers. I don't care. So yeah. And uh, yeah, if you want to check out Alfonso, my bunny, you probably saw him around in the video. Um, his Instagram is Alfonso the Bunny. So uh, hold on. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm I'm sick. I'm actually dying. And if you see any red around here, it's because I, I have been blowing my nose. And I'm happy that I haven't sne sneezed throughout the video or coughed. Yeah. I don't think that's my video. So, uh, okay, my lovely goats. I will see you in my, in my next video, which I am editing on the computer currently. So, uh, subscribe, check me out, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys later. Also, I am not going anywhere, okay? I don't care if YouTube demonetize me. I have ordered a new backdrop, a new mic. I've ordered the, the Rode mic, so I can put it on my camera so you guys could hear me better. Because I have a mic, but like it's attached to my computer, so I, I can't really like pull it and be like, Hey guys! I don't know how to do that. And also, I don't want to be standing here holding a mic. I'd rather just put it on the camera. And also, what else? I've ordered batteries, so that way if my camera does die, I could just switch, swap it out. But yeah, subscribe. Hey, Alfonso. Look, guys, it's Alfonso. Don't bite me. Please, don't bite me. Alfonso. Okay guys, this is Alfonso, check out his Instagram. Um, please don't bite me. Don't bite my titties, okay. Guys, in my next video, Hallyo!